hey guys, uh, it is Thanksgiving morning and I'm sitting in my office just uh, thinking about uh, the things that I'm thankful for, probably like you are. It's, uh, it's a day that we all kind of reflect on our lives, on the things that uh, we're grateful for, the people in our lives, the uh, opportunities that we've had, and all of that kind of thing. And I just wanted to say, um, you know, definitely I'm thankful for you. Thanks for downloading the show and listening to it. Um, it makes it uh, worthwhile to know that people are listening. Um, but beyond that, I wanted to share with you a psalm. Just maybe to contribute to your to your Thanksgiving this morning. I, I really love this psalm. It's so interesting uh, the way that it's structured. And I think I think you'll see what I mean here in just a minute. But basically, it's a psalm of thanksgiving to praise God and to remember the places that we've been. We've all been in places where times and seasons in our lives where we you know, maybe weren't uh, weren't living the way of you know, let's just say of wisdom, right? We we've wandered away, we've we've had trouble, but the glorious thing about God is that He comes for us and He brings us back to Him. Um, that's true today. It's always been true, and it will always be true. And uh, one day we'll live with Him in eternity, and that's the promise that He's given us. We can praise him not just because of the the good things, but because of the bad things that he's uh, brought us out of. And so I think Psalm 107 talks speaks to that a little bit. And uh, I wanted to just share it with you this morning. I'm going to read from the message, just give credit where credit is due. It says, "Oh, thank God, He is so good. His love never runs out." All of you set free by God, that's all of us, right? Tell the world. Tell how he freed you from oppression, then rounded you up from all over the place, from the four winds, from the seven seas. Some of you wandered for years in the desert looking, but not finding a good place to live, half starved and parched with thirst, staggering and stumbling on the brink of exhaustion. Then, in your desperate condition, you called out to God. He got you out in the nick of time. He put your feet on a wonderful road that took you straight to a good place to live. So thank God for his marvelous love, for his miracle mercy to the children he loves. He poured great droughts of water down parched throats. The starved and hungry got plenty to eat. And most of us will have plenty to eat today, won't we? Continuing at verse 10, some of you were locked in a dark cell, cruelly confined behind bars, punished for defying God's word, for turning your back on the high God's counsel, a hard sentence, and your heart so heavy, and not a soul in sight to help. Then you called out to God in your desperate condition. He got you out in the nick of time. He led you out of your dark, dark cell, broke open the jail and led you out. So thank God for his marvelous love, for his miracle mercy to the children he loves. He shattered the heavy jailhouse doors. He snapped the prison bars like matchsticks. Some of you were sick because you'd lived a bad life. Your body's feeling the effects of your sin. You couldn't stand the sight of food. So miserable you thought you'd be better off dead. Then you called out to God in your desperate condition. And he got you out in the nick of time. He spoke the word that healed you, that pulled you back from the brink of death. So thank God for his marvelous love, for his miracle mercy to the children he loves. Offer thanksgiving sacrifices. Tell the world what he's done. Sing it out. Some of you set sail in big ships. You put it out to sea to do business in faraway ports. Out at sea you saw God in action, saw his breathtaking ways with the ocean. With a word he called up the wind, an ocean storm, towering waves. You shot high in the sky, then the bottom dropped out. Your hearts were struck, stuck in your throats. You were spun like a top, you reeled like a drunk, you didn't know which end was up. Then you called out to God in your desperate condition, and he got you out in the nick of time. He quieted the wind down to a whisper, put a muzzle on all the big waves. 
And you were so glad when the storm died down, for he led you safely back to the harbor. So thank God for his marvelous love, for his miracle mercy to the children he loves. And lift high your praises to the people when the people assemble. Shout hallelujah when the elders meet. God turned rivers into wasteland, springs of water into sun-baked mud, luscious orchard became alkali flats because of the evil of the people who lived there. Then he changed wasteland into fresh pools of water, arid earth into springs of water, brought in the hungry and settled them there. They moved in. What a great place to live. They sowed the fields. They planted the vineyards. They reaped a bountiful harvest. He blessed them, and they prospered greatly. Their herds of cattle never decreased, but abuse and evil and trouble declined as he heaped scorn on princes and sent them away. He gave the poor a safe place to live, treated their clans like well-cared-for sheep. Good people see this and are glad. Bad people are speechless, stopped in their tracks. If you are really wise, you'll think this over. It's time you appreciated God's deep love. Friends, I hope that today, Psalm 107 speaks to you. Whatever one of those conditions you were in, you may have been in something similar, metaphorical or literal, who knows. But I hope you can praise God today. Wise people think about these things, and today's the day to do it bless you. I hope that uh, your day is full of family and joy and love. Catch you next week on the show.